All right, James, what's going on? Not much. It was a exciting, exciting trading today. Yeah, no, it was, it was a fun day for sure, for sure. So we wanted to come on here and give kind of a four, we'll call it a four session little mini series on why trading systems fail. In other words, you can call it a trading system, you can call it a trading plan. Why do most of them fail? And the first one is really, really simple. People don't actually understand what their signal bar is. They think they do, but they really don't. And when we think about a signal bar, everyone knows what a signal bar is and what a setup is. But the question is, you know, an easy one is I'm going to trade breakouts or my my signal is going to be a second entry buy at the bottom of a trading range. So my setup's the trading range, my signal bar is the second entry. But then the question is, do I really actually understand what signal bar is required for that? And James, I think you've, you, you got anything to say with that? Uh, not, well, why don't I bring up the chart? Uh, cause yeah. this is probably the most useful, uh, way of discussing it. So, you know, this is, this is today, obviously. Um, and I've changed the settings for the AMA breakout paint bar so that it's painting every bar that's breaking out. So we have, uh, this indicator is the one that we use in systems Academy and that, uh, you, we use in PTM and, and a variety of other quant systems, um, environments. But the, the idea here is that every red bar, every bar that's painted red is a bear breakout. The orange bars are bear outside bars. So bars that have a, a bear bias in their, uh, breakout and green bars like, uh, 35 and 63 have more of a, they're also outside bars, but with a, a bull bias in the, the breakout direction. And then the, the blue bars are, are bull breakouts and the black bars are all inside bars. So the first thing I see here is this is a lot of information. Like it's a lot of various breakouts. Yeah. So, and so most bars are breaking out of something. Uh, and so if you're trading breakouts and it is a, you know, reasonable and responsible thing for most traders to build their first system around breakouts. But if you're sitting down to build a system around breakouts, then the first question that traders and, and that we start with in systems Academy is you know, how are you going to define the breakout? And obviously there's, there's a lot of parameters that go into that. Like you were saying, you know, is it the, um, well, you were giving setup examples, right? So like a, uh, a, a, in, in this case, a, a low one at the bottom of a trading range, mm -hmm. uh, here's a, a low two at the bottom of a trading range. So setups, not signals, uh, signals are the actual bar that gets you into the trade versus the, uh, you know, the, the, um, the, the general market condition, uh, which is, uh, leading to the potential signal bar. So all of these bars, every bar that has, and just sticking with breakouts for now, every bar that is colored is a potential signal bar of a potential system. Absolutely. And, and that's the, I think the, the starting point that everyone should begin with is to ask the question, you know, if every one of these bars is breaking out then what is the system that would allow me to trade it or keep me out of the market, uh, at least temporarily in order to, uh, enter on a, a slightly different condition, uh, that that breakout has, uh, created. And I think that's the, the most difficult question to answer too, because it requires a significant understanding of not just, um, breakouts, but of yourself as a trader and what will make you feel most comfortable. Um, you know, if James, I want to is... add just one thing with mm -hmm. that really quick for those yeah. of you that are thinking, you know, what, okay, I have my breakout. I know what my breakout is, or I know what my signal bar is. I know what my setup is. And therefore, you know, I've got it figured out. I just need to trade more examples or take more days and trade it to figure it out. And, you know, an easy kind of, you know, a test, if you will, to, to see if you really understand your signal bar is, do you ever, you ever had a moment where you're in a trade, you, you take your buy. And let's say you, you know, you know, who knows, you you buy the close of bar seven, that really big looking bear bar. And all of a sudden you see the market go sideways. And before you know it, you look at the bar and you get this uneasy feeling because then you see bar nine and then you see bar 10 start to go up and you just all of a sudden don't really know what it is that you're supposed to do. And whenever you have a moment where you don't, you, you take a trade based on what you think is your signal and you really don't know what it is you're supposed to do and you don't know the expectation behind the trade, 
that's a really big red flag that's saying, hey, you really don't actually understand this specific situation with this specific bar. You may think you do, but you don't. And the point with this is there, there are a lot of big bars. You know, there's a lot of bars like seven that are really big, but there's tons of different examples with context that can really completely change it. Like you look at bar seven and then you look at bar 55 and 56, mm -hmm. you know, or, or even bars like bar, bar four. So there's, there's all sorts of various reasons. And then you really have to understand, you know, a big bar alone does not make it a signal. Exactly. Um, and you know, big bars are, uh, incredibly important for understanding the general market context as well. So, you know, most traders don't trade big bars, uh, because obviously they require, you know, larger risk, but they do, uh, you know, have the, the obligation as, as traders to understand them. Uh, and so that again, is similar to the, uh, you know, defining the signal requires research requires spending the time to really think about what the, you know, in terms of the signal, you know, which signals are for you, you know, which make you know, get you into a trade and, uh, require the kind of management that makes you feel good in the market. Um, so. Yeah, you know, whether they're mean reversion, you know, uh, you know, reversal trades for trend resumption, reversal trades for, uh, you know, mean reversion, um, obviously two different kinds of re reversal trades, whether it's uh, breakouts, breakout and follow through, I mean, there's, there's myriad types of, of signals that can get you into the market, but they require different types of management. Um, yeah, they might, they may or may not require scaling in, you know, I, I had traders in, mm -hmm. Systems Academy, who you know, were fastidious about not, you know, developing systems that would would were not would not require them to scale in, because they didn't want to scale in. So and James, you're basically saying that I've got to like, if I'm an individual, I've got to take every one of those ideas and really study it. No, uh, well, I think the and actually this is kind of what I talked about last. Like, where night do I with begin that. with all this? This is a lot of information. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's it's kind of what I talked about last night that you you, just, you start with one thing, and the one. You know, understanding this is, this is actually, uh, so in my experience as a, as a teacher teaching literature, um, you know, I always, I would always say, and this frustrated people who always wanted new book recommendations. Um, I don't read new books. Uh, I read the same books over and over again. Uh, so like I've, I've read Moby Dick and this is going to frustrate people probably like 150 times. Um, you know, I can probably quote the first two chapters, uh, you know, and I think that, you know, understanding, like being able to feel a book deeply is for me much more meaningful than just consuming book after book after book and having a surface relationship with, you know, some idea here. It's the same principle that if you want to understand the whole market, that all of the market holistically, the best way to do it is to understand one thing to its core, one thing just so deeply that it allows you to see everything around it more clearly, because to understand one thing deeply requires you to understand the context in which it appears with complete clarity. And once you have that, then it's easy. You can just glance around. I mean, you glance around the room, you're, you're in a room and you have your signal and that signal is clear to you because you understand it with perfect precision. And you, you, and you accept obviously the uncertainty that comes with it. You know, there are, clearly defined uncertainties and so you, then, you understand them, but then you can see everything around it because you understand what that is. And then you can start looking at other things, but you, but the important thing is to focus on that one input, the, that one signal. And, and then when you start to understand else. that, that one signal, all of a sudden you understand the failure and the success of that signal, right? Sure. Which absolutely. means you can almost reverse engineer once you have the signal and you understand it and you know what the failure is, you've automatically got a second trade. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, that's so in systems Academy, that's the, that's the principle of the, so once you have your first system, say the breakout and follow through or, you know, whatever, um, you know, the, the high probability failures, right. The, the signals, which you, you, you know, understand are not ones that you want to trade for say trend resumption. Those give you the foundation for subsequent market research, 
and signal research that leads you to develop your mean reversion system. So every price action system has its opposite because obviously the market's always either in a trend or a trading range and a, a signal is you know either for a trend resumption or for mean reversion. And if you're trading for trend resumption and it's a low probability signal, then it's you know the opposite is a potential signal and that's your mean reversion signal. So then in that case, you always have the opposite in play. Um, and so understanding when that becomes a higher probability gives you your, your second system. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's really, I mean, breakouts and second legs, we'll tell you right now, we're going to tell everyone in systems Academy, focus on breakouts, focus on second legs, trade the first leg. Don't trade the third leg. If any of you that have listened to our videos, you know, that's been said probably a hundred times and it's really the key. And that sounds like a really simple thing, but there's a lot that goes into really understanding breakouts. Because if you don't understand a breakout, there's no way you're going to understand the market cycle. And everybody knows, you know, there's a lot more to a breakout than a big bar or a series of bars that make a breakout. There's everything from the momentum, the context, all the little nuances. And so Indeed. that is what's important. Anything else, James? I think that that's, that's more than enough to uh, go into the weekend with. So for, for anyone who's, you know, going to sit down this weekend and do some research, just, you know, think about, think about yourself, think about the, the things that make you happy when you're in the market. Um, and, and if it's hard to define that, just spend some time thinking about the, the types of trades you would want to manage, you know, how long you would want to be in a position for, and then the types of bars that would, um, you know, lead to that, you know, that condition. So, you know, if everything, if every bar that's breaking out can be a signal bar, how are you going to, you know, narrow that down? Um, and so just start there, start thinking about yourself and, um, you know, you, it's most important that you treat yourself generously gently and you know the you know not putting yourself in a position where everything is a struggle is a, is a very important first step so um, absolutely you know thinking about everything as a breakout and uh and about what is going to make you feel good is is incredibly important and we'd be curious even like with like you put it in a comment just like what your what you think your setup is or what you want it to be sure I'm actually yeah. very curious to see like who who could write out what their setup is or what their signal bar is really because that's really what we're talking about is what you know we have a setup breakout or a, the context of it but what what type are you looking for what actual type of signal bar and that'd be we'd, we'd be very interested to see it yeah drop a comment in the uh, on the video that'd be great yeah and so we'll be here in the next day or so and we'll give you what the next reason is that most systems fail indeed Talk to you all soon. Have a great weekend. Have a good one. Okay. See you, Brad.